from Phoenix Shaving, Phoenix Lights, available at the Arizona Shavers Meetup, February 25th, 2023, as well as Phoenix Lights The Cube, which is a cube in a cube. How about that? And they're both coming up next. <music> Hi, YouTubers and my chambers everywhere. It's MarketGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. I love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new shave soap in the shave den, courtesy of Doug and Fran and Huxley and everyone at Phoenix Shaving. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. And also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is from Phoenix Shaving, and it came courtesy of Doug and Fran and uh, Huxley and everyone at Phoenix Shaving. Phoenix Lights. This is uh, this was made exclusively for the Arizona Shavers Meetup on February 25th, 2023. Now, hopefully this video will get up before <laughs> the meetup uh, begins. So hopefully it'll air a couple of days before the 25th of February, 2023. And uh, we're gonna have a shave with this. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. We're gonna remind you of the scent notes below. Absolutely beautiful scent. I, <laughs> I love those. Those top citrus notes, those are absolutely fantastic. We are going to be using my Starry Night Lathering Bowl. Now, uh, we're going to have kind of a bit of a theme going on here. Uh, the Phoenix Lights, uh, the shave soap is named in honor of those Phoenix Lights that appeared over the city of Phoenix uh, on the night of, uh, a spring night in 1997. Looked like a giant UFO. Like a, like a big Starcraft, right? Can you see right there the label, the flying wing right there? Yeah, that's what it looked like. It's, it's, it's like a flying wing of lights above Phoenix back in 97. A lot of video on it. And speaking of video, I'll link a video that Douglas sent along that's on YouTube uh, that explains the whole phenomenon. We've got a tool here and we're going to get, we're going to get some of this, some of this shape. So I'm going to take about that much. That'll be more than enough. And we're going to go ahead and build this lather right now. This is going to be, this is going to be more than enough. I tend to overfill these. Uh, I tend to overfill the uh, the shaving bowls and whatnot with shaving soap because I want to have a little more than than not when I'm uh, making a, a lather, building a lather. So we're going to use because this was a huge Starcraft <laughs> a UFO. We're going to use my Phoenix Shaving Starcraft shaving brush. How about that? And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start building a lather right now. I love this lathering bowl because it has these, these bumps on the interior. That I mean, look. Look at how that's starting to build a lather already. Look, I mean, it's just incredible. And, of course, this is Formula CK6. Oh, that's a great scent. That is absolutely phenomenal. If you're in the Arizona area... Or the Phoenix, Arizona area on the 25th, you have to stop by the uh, the meetup. It's at the Razor Emporium, and I believe it starts at 9 a.m. And boy, look at that! Look at that! I'm going to add a little bit of water because this is really I'm going to oh, wow! Look at that! That is just that is just starting to just build wonderfully. Look at that! That's <laughs> That's phenomenal. Well, I'll tell you what else we're going to be using. We're going to be using a strange razor blade, and we're going to have that in my Metaphor razor from Phoenix Shaving. That's a fantastic, fantastic razor. Delivers a nice mild shave. I have one day's worth of beard growth, and really, that's all I'm going to need is uh, that kind of razor with that good blade uh, and delivering a really nice, mild, yet highly efficient shave for me. It'd probably be two passes because all I have is one day's worth of beard growth and that'll do a great, great job. We're also going to kick it off with uh, 
the Phoenix Lights Cube, uh, which is a cube in a cube. When I first talked about this on the Monday Morning Mailbag and showed it, I did not see that because it was in the cellophane wrapping. After I uploaded everything, I noticed it, and I pointed that out in the Second Cup podcast that same Monday. So I want to make sure you see that there's a cube in a cube, and I don't know, I don't think I've ever seen that before. That is really, really cool. And look what we got here, folks. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, my guy, I mean, I mean, boom, lather. I mean, it's all over the place. My gosh, heaps and heaps of lather. I didn't need that much shave soap, but you know, like I say, I like to err on the side of having more than not. And I'll probably put this aside and use it for a, a head shave later on. Well, actually, I'll probably use it maybe the, even the next day. We'll see. We'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. But there's a lot of lather there. My gosh. All righty. Okay, so you know what? Let's get a hot towel. Let's kick it off. Let's wet the face. Kick it off with a hot towel, and then uh, apply the cube. So uh, let's wet the face. Okay, so here's, oh boy, that's nice. Nice hot towel. All right, I'll be back in a minute. That's marvelous. That really is. Although I think, I think I'm going to switch back to the thicker towels because that reta they retain heat a little more than these thinner towels, but this is really nice initially when you slap it onto your face. And I'm getting better with putting these thinner towels on my face. All right, here is the uh, this cube, the Phoenix Lights Cube. Look at that, there's a cube in a cube. <laughs> How about that? And it's got that great Phoenix Lights scent. Absolutely fantastic, but that cube in a cube, that is really very, very novel. Okay, so let me wet the face and let's apply the cube. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wash the face with the cube, and then we're going to we're going to go ahead and reapply it as a pre-shave. Boy, I really like this scent a lot. I don't think this is mentholated, just so you know. doesn't feel mentholated. If it is, it's very light, but I don't think it's mentholated. All right, let's rinse. Oh, that did a wonderful job. And this is almost like, you know, a Tootsie Pomp, <laughs> you know? You're, you're you're sucking on a Tootsie Pop trying to get to that center. Uh, I think it's what this is like. We're going to use the cube to try to get to that little cube on the inside. Okay, that's good. That's that's really got nice coverage there. That's fantastic. All right, I'm going to wipe my hands off. I am going to wring this out a little bit right here. Wring that out so it's a little drier to dry off my hands. And look how much lather I have right here. My gosh, that's a lot of lather. I'm going to have to add water to this too. Look at that. Wow, that is, my God, look at that. I am going to add a little bit of water. My gosh, that's... That's phenomenal. Look at that. Just a little bit of water. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that definitely has it. Just paints on. I add just a little bit of water. I have so much lather here. I'm only going to do two passes, too, because I think that's all I'm going to need with this razor and blade and with this soap. Man, that is really... Okay, a little bit of water... Phenomenal. Absolutely fantastic. 
All right, let's heat up this razor using the Phoenix Shaving Metaphor stainless steel razor with the removable flare tip right there. I put on a blue tip right there, and we've got a platinum strange lip razor blade in there from Phoenix Shaving. All right. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. This razor is a favorite. This is so nice and mild and smooth and efficient. This is beautiful. This razor is really beautiful. I really, I really, really enjoy using this razor. My gosh, that's marvelous. Love this performance. Really, really terrific. Nice slim profile to the razor head, gets right up underneath the nostrils. It's getting about, probably a good 85 to 95 percent of the, the little bits up underneath there. Okay, first pass done. Let's let's empty the sink a little bit <laughs> and let's rinse. I want to throw some excess water on my face because the lather here could use it, that's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's nice. And I'm probably, you know, I, I am in socially acceptable. I'm in, I'm in the socially acceptable shave territory. And I don't need, I'm not going to need a third pass. This is going to be done after two passes. This is going to be marvelous. A marvelous shave. Very, very quick. That I mean, and it goes right on. No problem at all. Absolutely fantastic. All right, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. That is so nice. Right there, I mean, it just, it's maneuverable to where I can get those little bits right there by the earlobe. That's, that's marvelous, that really is. This razor is wonderful. If you're looking for a good, mild, efficient razor, this is this is this is the one to get. This is really terrific. Nice residual slickness from the CK6. I mean, look at the residual slickness there. I'm just getting a chin. Lots, a lot of nice slickness there for that allows me to do that. Well, I mean, it's just normally when you're first learning the traditional wet shave, when you shave an area and you've removed the cream, you move on to the next area. As you become more experienced, you'll learn to understand that there is some residual slickness there from some areas that you've shaved away that you can go back and do a little bit of buffing. It's going to depend on the razor, the blade, and also the quality of the uh, shave soap you, you, that you're using. This CK6 is a very high quality, which is allowing me to do that because it has that really nice 
residual slickness there. Wow, that's not that is nice. That is nice. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. I'm rinsing off a lot of slickness before my two final rinses because I know this shave is done. And I'm taking it right out of the tap, so I'm kind of getting a jump on things. But this shave is done. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful result. Very nice, very smooth, very close. Love, love, love CK6 and its performance. Wonderful scent. This, I mean, it's just a winner all the way around. I like it a lot. Good, oh, nice post shave feel right now. All right, I'm going to do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. That's nice. That is, boy, that's a nice post-shave feel. That really is. That's terrific. I think, well, we'll talk about this after I show you the lather and the brush and everything. I'll give you some wrap up with some of my thoughts. Uh, I just flipped it to the cold water side. Here's, here's my cold water rinse. This is going to feel great. Cold water rinse. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, a few extra splashes. Just the, just the chill from the cold water. It was so wonderful. It wakes you right up. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy, what a nice result. Make sure I get all that lather off. <laughs> okay. I think that's got everything. Okay. Very no Oh, that's very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. All right. What a really, really nice result and a beautiful, beautiful post-shave feel from this shave soap. <laughs> this is great this time around. All right, let's get the Allen block from Phoenix Shaving with the no-slip grip and the dry dock system. And we're going to uh, pass this over the cleanly shaved face and see if we get any feedback. All right, here we go. I gotta tell you, I got a few zings here and there. This was a really close shave. But, uh, you know, just very, very slight, but yeah, ah, good shave. And there is some nice bracing from the, uh, from the Allen block. That's terrific. All right, here's the dry dock. The Allen block goes in there like that and let the air in the room do the rest of the work. Let me show you. Now, let me show you the the lather that I have here. Look how much I have here. Look at that. And the thing is, I can add a little bit of water to this to really, you know, get it to the proper consistency because I think I didn't have enough water starting out, but I added, look at that though, but I added water to the, uh, to the, to the face and that helped considerably too. So, uh, CK6 likes water and, uh, you know what, if you find out that it might be a little too, too thick, although that is pretty darn good. <laughs> I think I'm on the money there, and that little bit of water was, yeah, look at that. I, I think that's just perfect. Look at that. 
So I, yeah, no, I take it back. I think I had it dialed in right. And just a little bit of water there on the face, on the brush, helped a little bit. But man, oh man, is that good. Oh my gosh, that's marvelous. And maybe, and maybe also that little bit of water on the brush when I put it back in the bowl, that might have added a little more water to it to, uh, to add to, uh, to, to bring it to the proper consistency. Although I think I got it dialed in. I mean, uh, that's what you want. You want that nice, creamy, yogurty, cushiony kind of consistency. And CK6, it's very easy to dial it in. Now, again, I use more soap. Uh, than I should. You don't really have to use a lot. You don't have to use that much. But I tend to use more uh, than not uh, when I do these videos because I want to make sure I have enough lather in case I need three passes, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, that's not the case. I mean, <laughs> two passes uh, really did a great job uh, for this shave. But sometimes you never know. But uh, yeah, the Platinum Strangelet Razor Blade and the Metaphor, the Metaphor, Razor did a fantastic job. Here is the uh, Phoenix Lights uh, aftershave and cologne. This is fantastic. And this is great. And I'm trying to think. You know, I don't have a balm here. Oh, wait a minute. I do. I got something. Got something right over there. Hang on. Here we go. That's great. And it's got a little bit of a kick. Hang on, right over here, I have a little bit of the uh, Mysterium Serum uh, right here, and we're going to use that. Oh, I'm down to nothing. I got to, I have some on order. Let me take some out of the bottle. Yeah, I'm down to, oh man. Yeah, I like this stuff. I use it. Okay. Okay, here, here, we'll just, <laughs> we'll take it off like that, and we'll get a little bit there. Hang on. Here, here's what I'm gonna do. Hang on. Let me let me do it like this. Watch this. Just kind of force it out of the bottle towards the. Uh... Nope, didn't work as much. Didn't work like I wanted it to. However, I do have enough right there, which is gonna be. That'll be enough. That'll get the job done. I'll get the rest later. I don't know. Let me just see. Do I have another one here? I thought I had another one over here. Doggone it. Oh, there it is. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ha ha ha. There it is. It did work. Check that out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm glad I ordered some more because I love this stuff. It's great for when you don't have the uh, companion balm for the uh, aftershave and soap. You can just use this. And because it's fragrance free and then get a little bit of this and put a few drops there like that and then mix that in and now you got a scented balm. How about that? And we can carry that. Great shave. Really, really wonderful scent. Beautiful shave soap. CK6. The, uh, the cube in a cube. How about that? That is really, really neat. Very, very clever. Uh, really, Phoenix Shaving, Doug and Fran, and everyone at Phoenix Shaving, Huxley, <laughs> everyone there. They just are always thinking ahead of the curve, and they knock it out of the park. This is wonderful. Another great shave soap from Phoenix Shaving, Phoenix Lights, uh, available at Arizona Shavers Meetup, uh, Saturday, February 25th. 2023 at the Razor Emporium in Phoenix, Arizona. Take a moment, get over there if you're in the Phoenix area. I'm sure you'll enjoy yourself. Sounds like a great, great event. Again, my thanks to Doug, Fran, Huxley, and everyone at Phoenix Shaving for sending this along and allowing me to share it with you today. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers that you see at the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artists and shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shave gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, 
check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.